Hello Psych2Goers and welcome back to another Psych2Go video. Today, we are going to explore the mysteries of love. So let's start with our big question. How do you know when someone likes you? It's rarely about the things they say. More often than not, it's about the things they don't say. Words can be misleading. They may never admit their feelings out loud, but their actions may tell you a different story. Love communicates through subtle subconscious behaviors, through small gestures, stolen glances, and moments of silence. It's a challenging language to understand, but if you pay close attention, you can unravel someone's true feelings. To help you decipher the language of love, here are 10 signs that your crush likes you. Just as a disclaimer, just one of the signs may mean nothing. But the more of these signs, the more likely your crush really does like you. One, they fixate on you. The eyes are often called the windows to the soul, but is that really true? Can you understand your crush's feelings just by watching their eyes? In a 2014 study, Beaumont and others found that your eyes give away your honest intentions. You unconsciously fixate on people, places, and objects that you want the most. If you're staring at food, you're probably hungry. If you're staring at old photos, you might be homesick. If your crush is fixated on you, they may be in love. Two, they lean toward you. Love changes the orientation of your body. Around friends, you lean back. You're calm and comfortable. Around someone you like, your body springs forward. You lean towards your crush to show them you care. Imagine your crush is talking about a sport you've never played. It's not your favorite subject to talk about, but you lean forward anyway. Why? Because their opinions matter to you. Without realizing it, your body changes shape. So, does your crush's body lean towards you? A little movement can go a long way. Three, they're vulnerable with you. It's not easy to be open with someone. In your daily life, you raise giant walls to protect yourself from getting hurt. But when you're around someone you trust, those walls come crumbling down. According to a 1997 study by Erin and others, vulnerability nurtures both love and attraction. It builds trust by fostering deeper feelings of closeness. But vulnerability isn't just about expressing yourself. It needs to be mutual. If your crush always wants to know more about you, you too may be more than just friends. Four, they smile at you. Different smiles mean different things. Some are closed and mysterious. Others are open and happy. But how do people smile when they're in love? A 2018 research summary by Montoya and others explained that a genuine smile can demonstrate trust, attraction, and vulnerability. In other words, your crush may be constantly smiling because they feel close to you. Five, they open their posture. When you interact with someone you like, you instinctively open your posture. Your arms fall away from your chest, your legs uncross, your back straightens, each of these nonverbal signals creates a physical and emotional bond with someone. So if your crush likes you, their posture may open up the moment you enter the room. Six, they look into your eyes. When you spend time with your crush, your brain releases a love hormone called oxytocin. This hormone circulates through your brain and makes you feel closer to the people around you. That closeness changes your body language, encouraging things like eye contact. In other words, Looking into your crush's eyes isn't just romantic. It's a great way to express your interest. If they return the favor, the feelings may be mutual. Seven, they make physical contact. If you like someone, tiny things can be electrifying. A small touch on the arm, their legs rubbing gently against yours. Contact is so powerful because touching another person, especially someone you like, triggers the same flood of feel-good hormones. Remember this each time your crush brushes your hand or touches your back. It's not always an accident. Your crush may be trying to show their true feelings. Eight, they make time for you. Does your crush make time for you? By opening up their schedule, they're tearing down an important barrier, something that would stop you two from being together. Invisible forces like time and distance are common roadblocks for young couples. Each time your crush makes time for you, they're leaping over one of these hurdles. According to a 2010 study from Rhodes and others, that means your relationship may have more potential. Nine, they copy your behavior. 
Have you ever noticed your crush copying you? Every time you smile, they smile. Every time you take a drink, they do too. This psychological phenomenon is called mirroring. When you like someone, you mimic their posture, actions, and facial expressions. So if talking to your crush is like looking into a mirror, there's a good chance they have feelings for you. And 10, they invest in you. Has your crush ever lent you a jacket or a pencil? On the surface, these little favors don't look like much, but they're often a sign of romantic interest. When you lend something to your crush, you're making a small investment. That item, no matter how small, binds the two of you together. So don't let your crush's investment go unnoticed. Has your crush been sending you hidden signals? Have you noticed signs we didn't cover in this video? Let us know in the comments below. Share this video with someone who might benefit from it. And don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more psychology content. As always, thanks for watching.